Why is it that neither Microsoft or Google will ultimately win the AI wars? Now that may sound like a bold claim because Microsoft and Google are the two most powerful corporations in the entire world when it comes to AI development. Whether it's self-driving cars, search algorithms, or AI chatbots, these two have been attempting to outdo one another for over a decade. So how could it be that neither one of them is ultimately gonna win? To answer that question, we need to look into what has happened in the field of artificial intelligence in just the last few years. Now, for the longest time, people usually associated AI with things like chess bots and spell checkers. And yes, a computer could beat the best grandmasters and catch even the most obscure typos. But at the end of the day, there was something rather simplistic about artificial intelligence. Depending on the circumstances, these gadgets were simply considered amusing, maybe mildly helpful or even annoying. But a decade or two ago, hardly anyone would have said that they were on the verge of revolutionizing the way that we live our lives. Now look at the world around us today. AI technology is no longer just catching typos. It's creating incredible works of art. It's writing papers. I mean, just a few decades ago, it struggled to understand a two-dimensional chessboard. Now it can generate a 3D map of your house when you put it on the market. All the algorithms that govern platforms like YouTube seem to know what people want to watch before we even know. All of these things have improved the lives of millions of people. And this is why, ultimately, neither Google or Microsoft is gonna end up winning the AI wars. In fact, one could argue that the real winner in this contest is the consumer. Take a look at the emergence of ChatGPT. 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 And then the response that came from Google. Google Bard. Google's Bard. Google, soft launched, Bard. It's a perfect example of how AI development has created a technological race between two of the most powerful corporations in the world in order to better serve customers. Because despite all of the market share and political influence that both Microsoft and Google enjoy, each feels the need to provide the market with a new and innovative technology in order to stay ahead of the other. But while the consumer may benefit from these developments, they're not the only one who does. In fact, the biggest winner might end up being governments. And here's where the dark side of AI emerges. Because just as these new technologies can make it easier for us to drive a car, start a business, clean a house, or even sell one, they can also destroy our personal liberties if abused. You need to look no further than the surveillance state that the Communist Party of China is constructing, or the recent push to create a central bank digital currency, which you would have little to no control over. So what does this all mean? Well, of course, AI has enormous potential to expand our capabilities and to improve development. By the same token, it has an incredible capacity to be used as a government tool to essentially control and micromanage details of your life without you even knowing about it. And what's not clear yet is who will ultimately be the biggest beneficiary of this technology. Will it be the people or Big Brother?